What are your perspectives for the GDP in the uh, third quarter and for the end of the year? Uh, would you revise down the estimates or up? And what are the perspectives for the start of the 2021? Well, at the moment, uh, we hope that uh, the virus isn't spreading too heavily again and that we uh, can uh, reach a little bit of better situation than was prospected, uh, prospected in spring. Uh, we estimate the GDP downfall in Austria for approximately 6.8% for the whole year 2020. And uh, if uh, there's the perspective of a vaccine for next year, uh, I hope that will be uh, um, a sharp rise in GDP next year. And does, this, uh, does the virus affect your um, deficit and uh, debt target estimates? Well, it definitely affects the deficit. Um, without the coronavirus, uh, the Austrian uh, public debt would have dropped uh, to approximately 69% uh, of GDP this year, uh, coming from 85% in 2015. So we did uh, quite a good job in uh, lowering the, the debt ratio. Uh, but now it's going to increase uh, to um, something between 80 and 90% uh, in the next two years. Uh, but on the long term perspective, uh, we are convinced that we can uh, lower the, the, the debt ratio again. And how are you dealing with the budget? And if you are planning reform for companies, we heard about a, a, a structural reform that should change the chance for the shareholder to enter in, um, uh, even in, uh, in companies. Uh, um, so le getting off uh, some old shareholders like family, family business or uh, foundations. Is this reform going, going on? Well, what we tried to do, of course, is uh, first of all, the priority was uh, to save human lives. Uh, then this was uh, the reason why we did the lockdown. And of course, this had severe effects on the Austrian economies, on small and medium enterprises and so on. So we um, implemented um, uh, subsidies for the Austrian businesses uh, in uh, a very large extent. Uh, altogether, we are going to spend uh, 50 billion uh, euros, which uh, amounts to approximately 13.5% of Austrian GDP, uh, which is one of the largest packages within the European Union. Um, uh, and now we have to make sure that uh, this money also reaches uh, the companies. And at the moment, there are some conflicts with uh, uh, the European Commission uh, because they don't agree on what we try to do to help our companies. Um, uh, they say it's not within um, the framework uh, for competitive but uh, from my point of view, um, we have a crisis. Uh, Austrian taxpayers uh, invest a lot of money, uh, spend a lot of money um, because we show solidarity uh, with uh, Italy, Spain and France uh, and vice versa. We would like to be able to support our own businesses with our own taxpayers' money. How many companies will have liquidity problems in 2001 and in which sector, as you talk about? Well, um, the, the Austrian um, tourism branch is uh, quite uh, severely hit. Uh, tourism accounts for uh, a large amount for the Austrian GDP. It's uh, mainly run by uh, small and medium businesses, by family-owned businesses. Uh, for the moment, uh, there are no bankruptcies because uh, uh, we gave the op uh, opportunity for tax deferrals, um, but uh, we'll see how this will catch up next year. Uh, therefore, it's even more necessary that we uh, subsidize those companies because those companies that had no problems before the coronavirus, uh, we have to save them for after the crisis. And uh, I didn't say before, but one question was on banks. Uh, in Australia, you have a, a kind of wire, ca wire card uh, case bank. Uh, the Commercial Metersburg was uh, uh, not a huge one. Something a scandal was a fraud. How, you, how are you dealing with that? And how do you want that this don't not repeat again. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, uh, the Commercialbank scandal was a, a, a corruption case, a, a, a crime, uh, obviously, and it was a, a small regional bank. Uh, what we are trying to do now is evaluate uh, together with um, uh, the. Um, uh, the officials, uh, what we could do on a national level to prevent such a case to happen again. Uh, these investigations are ongoing. Okay. One last thing. You will discuss external border carbon tax at this meeting. What's your position? 
Well, we are uh, very much in favor of uh, external border carbon taxation because um, uh, the uh, CO2 footprint of, uh, of uh, foods, of uh, vegetables, of uh, uh, meat maybe, um, that's, that's an issue, especially when it comes to fighting climate changes. And therefore, uh, we are open to such a discussion and are happy to participate. The ACB Executive Board, uh, a place we be left by Irvin Mersch, and do you have a candidate? If I may ask. I've heard that there is already uh, uh, one candidate from the Netherlands uh, who uh, seems to be highly qualified uh, and uh, let's see how the further discussions are going.